Hey guys and welcome. In today's uh, Photoshop video I um, quickly want to show you or introduce you to the uh, filters uh, built into the layers panel. What these filters do is actually help you locate or narrow down a particular layer you're looking for. It's basically like a little search function in the layers um, panel. It's especially useful if you have a large design file and have a number of a large number of uh, layers and these filters will help you narrow and uh, narrow it down to find what you're looking for instead of having to um, you have to scroll down a large amount of layers. So I'll show you how this is done. Uh, before we get started, please don't forget if you're new to my channel to uh, hit that subscribe button and that bell icon to be notified of more videos I'll be putting out very soon. So here's your typical uh, layers panel and this is it here the, the, where it says kind and has this uh, magnifying glass. You do the drop down and you can search by a number of things. You can search by name. So if I type in car and anything with C-A-R will appear and you know We'll filter it um, by in another one, sky. Anything with the word sky or sky will um, will filter it. Another one to search is attribute. You know, not visible, empty. If you're looking for empty layers, these are all my empty layers. I can now select them and delete them. Uh, if you're looking for um, clip layers, um, layer masks. So anything with a layer mask, um, locked layers, anything, any, any layers that have been locked, you can find it through there. Another way is colors. So uh, I got another one here in red color. You can see narrow it down. I'll show you um, a bit later how I colorize these um, or added a color to the layers. Um, another thing is smart objects. Anything that ha has a smart object. Um, selected, um, I haven't selected anything, artboards, all the artboards will appear, um, anything with, a, with an effect in it, you know, any of these, obviously none of my layers have any effects in it, any modes, so any blending modes, so these are, these are the layers that have blending modes in, in this art file, any more, yep. And then if you want all of it, you go back to kind. That's it, guys. That's simple as that. Now, like I said before, I'll show you how I color I added these colors to my layers. Um, so let's say I have a group of layers I want to colorize. So it tells me what they are. So I'm going to select one. So let's go. i select the first one. Hold down the shift and select the last one. I'm just doing this as, uh, uh, for, the, for the purpose of this video. Then I'm going to right click. And I'm going to choose a color. I'm going to choose blue. Now, if I go into kind and search color, I've got all the reds. I have a blue now as well. And I have a green as well. That's it, guys. This tool is actually quite useful. Like, like I said before, if you have a very large uh, design file with a large number of, um, of, of, uh, of layers, you know, then you can instead of having to scroll, keep scrolling and scrolling, you can use this um, this filter to narrow down what you're looking for. I hope you got something out of that, guys. I hope uh, you know you learned some of the, this new this feature here. It's, you may you may you know you may already known about it, or you may not have. Don't forget to comment below. Let me know what you thought of that. Um, also, if you liked the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It'll really help. Uh, um, the video in uh, YouTube and um, thanks for watching guys